Hello everyone, it's Living the Good Life and I have another garage sale and estate sale finds video for you. Before I start showing you all the jewelry, I want to mention this from my last video. I forgot to tell you what this was. No, I did not forget to take my laundry down. This is a um, house coat that I got, more like a caftan, at an estate sale on the last day. I paid $3 for it and I'm calling it my Mrs. Roper outfit. If you all remember a Three's Company from the 70s, she wore those caftans everywhere. Well, this was just beautiful colors and I went ahead and got it, so it was neat. And there's a little bathrobe peeking from the side of it as well that I got for $3. So let's start off. We'll go over here. I've got some earrings and there. this was a garage sale, kind of like an um, estate sale in a garage sale. and. Um, the bags of jewelry were a dollar a piece and they had multiple pieces in them so I spent seven dollars on bags of jewelry and I'll show you some more of the items later so here's this don't know if it's sterling yet there's this this is a plastic stone with ruffled kind of goldish coppery colored gold mainly material and it's a Les Bernard I never can tell if I've got it the right way Les Bernard, and they actually sell pretty well, those kind of things. Got this sterling cross with inlaid onyx on a sterling chain, marked 925 there on the back. Got these, got this really neat uh, pin here. Here's one that just screams 80s. This is a Weiss, really pretty, and I had this up there. Um, I really like this for some reason. And um, here's the name on it. I need to go ahead and figure that out and see what that's worth. And I had it up here. I took it down to try to research it and I didn't put it back. Um, the next item was this, which is um, actually a clock. So it's got the porcelain face and with the Roman numerals. And then on the back, it's actually a clock on this long chain. This is just so pretty. This is also sterling on a sterling chain and you can see the sun starting to hit. I don't know if that's amethyst or not, but it sure is making me think so. And it is marked sterling up at the top. Here's this one, sterling chain, sterling uh, pendant, marked here on the back. This, these, I haven't figured these out. I think they're just costume. This is also a costume. It's a little cross with a, um, just a silver tone chain. This is Givenchy in my ac southern accent. And it's off in there. And here we have a Waterford clock. Got it for $1, <laughs> which was excellent. You can see, I don't think we're going to be able to see this time of day that it says Waterford. But I have one just like it. I forgot. So, you know, now I have two. Here is a uh, cloisonne vase, and it's got the, I guess that would be the chrysanthemum on that side. We've got a red flower here and some more. And that was a dollar as well. There's no mark on the bottom, but a really nice one. Okay, I'm going to start over here again. So, this heart. I didn't even think it was sterling. I finally got it home and realized it says 925 with, I think, some taxico marks there on the loop. That weighs 16 grams, so that's a pretty good one. This one weighs almost 31 grams, so 29.6 or something. So it is right here are all the marks. It is sterling. Let's see. Uh, here's another sterling little pendant. Well, pin. And I'm wondering, uh, she probably wore these together, but I have not been able to find any mark on these earrings. But I think I'll wear them together too. I got a little bit of gold, this and some more. Uh, this elephant. I got this at the last moment because I realized that it was lapis and all these are um, 14 karat because on the bale here it says 14 karat. So that was a good thing. 
Uh, these, at the last moment, I also realized that these were sterling. Oh, my hands are cold and it's, whatever we should. So right here, it says 925. That's good. Here's just a neat little cloisonné heart. Uh, here are some Givenchy clip earrings. Let's see. Uh, here is a pretty little Monet bracelet with these little dangles. Maybe you can see that a little better like that. So those are just really pretty. These are sterling. It's not marked there. I think it's on this other one. Frequently, there's only one of the earrings marked. These are sterling. I think they were supposed to be have initial where you could engrave your initial on them. I got really excited because I thought this might be real, but it's not. It is, um, you know, like silver over copper, and I, but I'm not sure about all these stones, if they are real or not. Who knows? Um, this is a long sterling um, chain. I should have looked to see how much it weighs. We're going to do it right now while you're on the, with me. So almost 17 grams, that's a good deal. And then I got these, which, which were very fun. These turned out to be gold, and I didn't even realize that they were in there until I got out and uh, started looking at everything, but it says 14 karat on the post. And these are for hollow, so 14 karat gold earrings, and I think they were worth uh, about 60 to $70. Uh, at 80% a spot. And gold has went up, y'all. So uh, we're getting a lot better price on gold and silver. Well, silver's up to like 24, which is great. Don't get me wrong. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything. If you have any comments and knowledge to share, I'd love to hear it. And I'd really love your subscription. Take care. Bye-bye.